Well, seeing as though I'm one of the last pure Duel Links creators, I thought I should throw my hand at explaining Link Summoning, so let's get into it. Link Summoning is a summon mechanic from the extra deck, like Synchro Summoning, Fusion Summoning, etc. You need main deck monsters to use as materials to go into your Link monster, but where Synchro Summoning adds up monsters' levels and exceed monsters overlay the same level, a Link Summon is actually the simplest. You're using whatever type of monster the Link Summon calls for, and the number of materials needed is listed by its link rating. Not only do link monsters not have a defense stat, they just can't exist in defense mode at all. So instead, in the bottom right corner of the card, we have the monster's link rating. And on this note, they also don't have levels or ranks, but rather arrows indicated by the lit up red ones on the card. But we'll get more into that. So a monster like Proxy Dragon, who has a link rating of two, requires you to send two monsters you control to the graveyard to link summon Proxy Dragon. These monsters would then be known as Link Materials. Proxy Dragon lists his materials in his card description as all Link monsters do. So now let's look at a Link 2 monster that requires a specific type of monster to be used as a Link Material. Salamon Great Sunlight Wolf, even though he is a Link 2 as well and has a Link rating of 2, you can't summon Sunlight Wolf by using any two monsters you want as a material because Sunlight Wolf requires fire effect monsters. Similar to restrictions that follow a lot of extra deck monsters. Link 1 monsters also exist. As of right now, there are very few in dual links and there are no generic ones. You are probably, or at least will be, most familiar with Salomon Great Bay Links, a Link 1 that requires just a single level 4 lower Cybers monster. So now, let's talk about Link Climbing. If you're going into a Link 3 monster, such as Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow, yes, you can use 3 of any monster, but you'll notice that Gaia Gaia Saber calls for two plus monsters. Does this mean that you can summon Gaia Saber with just two ordinary monsters? No. What it means is you can use a Link 2 monster and then just one other monster to make Gaia Saber. So in total, you're using two monsters and technically one less resource. A good example of this is Goki, who goes into their Link 3 boss monster by using their Link 2 combo extender and then another regular Goki monster as a material for Great Ogre. And the same goes for a Link 4 like Firewall Dragon. You could use a Link 3 monster and just one other monster, and so on and so on. This gets a little muddy when we start talking about the extra monster zone, so Link monsters can only be summoned to the extra monster zone or to a regular monster zone that another Link monster is pointing to. So going back to Goki, since Jet Ogre points downwards, you could get two more monsters on the field with a card like Goki Rematch, and then you could go into Security Dragon, a Link 2 that points up. You can then summon it to the zone Jet Ogre points to, and then you're co-linked, something that Security Dragon actually needs to use his effect, but uh, co-linking, right. Co-linking is exactly what it sounds like. It's when two Link monsters have arrows pointing to each other. Dual Links actually has an indicator of this. The arrows of the Link monsters will turn from red to yellow if co-linked, and that's when you know that you can use certain effects of Link monsters, because a good amount of them do and will interact with the co-linking feature. I hope this is helpful to any Dual Links players that didn't get a grasp on it yet, or the players that were privy to Beaver Warrior beat down when they played the TCG and now they've come over to Duel Links hoping for a fresh start in Yu-Gi-Oh and they look at this shit. Regardless, I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video.